Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of the extended sweep. It has the basic functionality like the sweep in itself, but it has some extra properties. One of the properties is, is that you can have in your cross section already some groups defined. So we have over here the asphalt, the gutter, the concrete barrier, the concrete and the bar. These are all merged together and this could be a good cross-section to use for example if you want to create a bridge. Over here I have a basic path shape it's being resampled and it's then being swept with the extended sweep. As you can see by default with the extended sweep already a UV uh, preview is being generated so the texture is included within the digital asset and you see for each one of the groups you have like normalized UVs so we see the UVs over here for the asphalt for the gutter for the concrete barriers for the concrete and so on also the end parts are being UV'd with normalized UV and this is for each separate shape so we have this big part in concrete but we have it also for this very small part and as you can see it's completely covered over here now as you can see over here while pressing the middle mouse button you can see all the groups that are being generated so it's later on very easy to change the texture uh, to different materials so this makes it very very intuitive and easy to just add and apply all types or all kinds of different textures while still having a very simple sweep to do so no extra grouping is required anymore among the properties you have over here you have a few extra buttons normalize X section so you have like either the shape in itself how it is as a normal size or you have like the normalized version as you can see it makes sure that the shape is nicely fitting within the sizes of 1 1 you have also closed UVs this is necessary if you want to have like shapes with a closed form you have also angle fix which is something common fix flipping remove coincident points on path emit reference points use vertex these are all common attributes you also have on the sweep the extra button you have over here is UV preview so you can either use the preview or you can remove it for the output you can use the cross-section name or you can use a custom name in which for example over here you have the sweep and you see all the different sweeps that are being generated they're just being numbered for the amount of shapes there are or you can also remove the names if you don't want to have any groups at all you also have a button to immediately reverse the shapes and you can also choose to have the skinning switched off so this concludes the extended sweep